So, welcome again to our topic for uh, psychiatric nursing. For this finals, our topic for today is all about the personality disorder. So, the learning objectives of our uh, discussion is to describe the different personality disorder in terms of the client's difficulty in perceiving, relating to, and thinking about self others and the environment and also here we uh, discuss the factors sought to influence the development of personality disorder and the same time apply the nursing process to the care of clients with personality disorder and also uh, provide the educations to our clients families and community community members to increase their knowledge and understandings of personality disorder and lastly to evaluate the personal feelings attitudes and responses to clients with uh, personality disorder before we proceed to the different personality disorder we need to uh, identify what is personality when we say personality can be defined as in green enduring a uh, pattern of behaving and relating to self, ad, self others and environment so it in it is includes the perceptions the attitudes and emotions so these behaviors and characteristic are consistent across a broad range of situations and do not change easily so a person is usually not consciously aware of his or her personality so there are many factors that influence our personality some of them are stem from the biologic and genetic makeup and also while others are acquired personal develops and interacts with the environment and the other people okay so that is for personality but then when we say personality disorder when we say personality disorder that is diagnosed when there is impairments of personality functioning and personality personality traits that are maladaptive uh, individuals have identity problems such as egocentrism or being self uh, censored and their sense of self-esteem comes from uh, great gaining power or pleasure that is often at the expense of others so that is for the personality disorder so their behavior often fails to conform to our uh, cultural to social or legal norms and they are motivated by personal gratifications our relationship with others are dysfunctionals and often characterized by deceit uh, coercions or intimidations by individual with personality disorder so they are not capable of mutual or intimate relationship and they have the lack of the capacity for empathy remorse or concerns for others so that is for personality disorder basta wag po nating kakalimutan pag sinabi nating personality uh, disorder that is the impairment of personality functioning the personality traits that are maladaptive, identify the problems, and then the relationships are dysfunctional. As you can see on your screen, there is a maladaptive or dysfunctional personality traits. So this is exhibited by uh, the individuals with a uh, personality disorder. So it may includes number one, we have the negative behavior towards others we have the anger and hostility irritable and label modes lack of guilt or remorse emotionally cold and uncaring we have also the impulsivity or poor judgment uh, meron din tayong uh, irresponsible not accountable for their own actions uh, risk taking or thrill seeking behavior Meron din tayong mistrust. Uh, meron din tayong exhibitionism. We have also entitlement, uh, dependency, dependency or insecurity, and eccentric uh, perception. So certainly, not all these traits are problem for each uh, personality. 
are persons. So, diagnosed with personality disorder. So, the traits are presence of the predominant for a given person are the basis for distinguishing the disorder from each other. So, personality disorder uh, not diagnosed until adulthood, that is at the age of 18, when personality is more completely form oh, so nevertheless the maladaptive or maladaptive behavior patterns can often be traced to early childhood or adolescence okay so although there are be great variants among clients with personality disorder may experience significant uh, impairment in fulfilling the family the academic uh, employment and other functional role During the revisions and development process of Diagnostic and Statistical uh, Manual of Mental Disorder or yung tinatawag natin na DSSM uh, MG 5th editions, uh, much discussions surrounded the personality disorders uh, diagnosed. So in the end, uh, proposed hybrid model for personality development or personality disorder was adopted. Uh, but uh, remains as an alternative sections at the back of our manual. So, personality disorders are organized according to the cluster around a predominant type of behavior pattern. So, this cluster are diagnosed in each are the as follows. So, dito, punta muna tayo sa cluster A. In cluster A, we have the paranoid or paranoia personality disorder, we have the schizoid personality disorder, and then we have the schizotypal personality disorder. So that is for a uh, cluster A. We have in the cluster B, we have the antisocial personality disorder, the borderline personality disorder, histrionic personality disorder, and we have the narcissistic personality disorder. And then, in our cluster C, we have the avoidant personality disorder, the dependent personality disorder, and then the obsessive personality disorder. So, these are the three clusters uh, that we have in the personality disorder. So, in the psychiatric nursing, the nurses uh, most often encounter clients with antisocials, and borderline personality disorder. So thus, these two disorders are the primary focus of our personality disorder. So clients with antisocial personality disorder may enter psychiatric setting as a part of court-ordered evaluation as an alternative to a jail. So clients with borderline personality disorder are often hospitalized because of their Emotional instability may lead to self-indicated or self-inflicted injuries. So, uh, this chapter or this discussion in personality disorder uh, discusses uh, briefly. So, most clients with this uh, personality disorders are not treated in acute care setting. Nurses may encounter this uh, with a clients in any healthcare setting or in the psychiatric setting with when a client is already hospitalized for another major mental illness. Okay, and we have also the other cluster of behavior related to maladaptive personality traits. So we have the uh, depressive uh, behavior and then we have the passive aggressive behavior. So in uh, depressive behavior that is characterized by a purpose, uh, pervasive pattern of depressive cognitions and behavior in various contexts. So it occurs more often in a people with relatives who, ha who have a major depressive disorder. So people with depressive personality disorder often seek treatment for their distress while in the passive aggressive behavior that is characterized by a negative attitudes and a pervasive pattern of passive resistance demands for adequate uh, social and occupational performance so our clients may appear cooperative even they are even in gray shading or silent and withdrawn depending on the circumstances 
So, their mood may fluctuate rapidly and erratically and they may be easily upset or offended. So, yun yung uh, depressive and uh, passive-aggressive behavior. As you can see, doon sa ating mga personality disorder, cluster A, B, and C, napag-usapan na natin before what is paranoid or paranoia, what is schizoid, what is schizotypal, the antisocial, the borderline, the histrionic, narcissistic, avoidant, dependent, and obsessive. So, dinugtuan lang natin yung mga anak ng personality uh, disorder. So, uh, ganun pa rin. In the onsets and clinical course in our personality disorder are relatively common according of 10 to 20% of the general populations. So, uh, incidence is even higher in our lower socioeconomic groups and unstable or uh, disadvantaged populations. So, all of the psychiatric uh, patients uh, 15% have the primary diagnosis of the personality disorder. So, yung 40 to 45% naman, people with primary diagnosis of major mental illness and also have the coexisting personality disorder that have significantly complicates the treatment. So, meron din po tayong 30 to 50% na incidents uh, ng personality disorder that have uh, the mental health outpatient setting. So, usually, nagkakaroon ng often described as a being treatment resistance and then lack of perceptions by persons that behavior is a problem. So, sometimes, the behavior is a point of pride. So, Ibig sabihin, uh, people with a personality disorder are often described as treatment resistance. This is not surprisingly, considering that the personality characteristic and behavior patterns are deeply ingrained. So, it is difficult to change one's personality. If such changes occur, they evolve slowly. Uh, the slow course of treatment can be uh, frustrating of family, friends, and healthcare providers. So, another barrier of treatment is may with the client do not perceive their uh, dysfunctional or maladaptive behavior as a problem. So, indeed, sometimes this behavior are source of pride. Okay, for example, uh, Aggressive persons may perceive him or herself as a having this strong personality and as being someone who cannot be taken advantage or pushed around. So, our client with uh, the personality disorder frequently uh, failed to understand the need to change their behavior and may view changes as a treat. Okay? And then, uh, the difficulties associated with personality disorder persist, uh, persist through the young and middle adulthood, but then to uh, diminish in the 40s and 50s. So, so those with antisocial behavior uh, disorder or antisocial personality disorder are less likely to engage in criminal behavior to the problems with substance abuse and disregard for the feelings of others. Okay, in a personality uh, develops through the interactions of hereditary dispositions and influence and the environmental influences. So we have the biologic theories, we have the temperament. In the temperament that is refers to the biologic process of sensations, associations, and motivations that underlines the integra integrations of skills and habit based on the emotions. So, the genetic differences across uh, ac the genetic differences account for uh, about 50% the variances of the temperament uh, behavior or the temperament uh, biologic theories. Uh, there are four temperaments, traits that we have. So, number one, we have the harm avoidance, the novelty seeking, 
the reward dependence and persistence. So each of these four genetically influence traits affect a person's autonomic response to certain situations. So these responses patterns are ingrained by the year of two to three years of age. Okay, so people with high harm avoidance exhibit a uh, fear of uncertainty, social inhibitions, shyness with strangers, ano pa ba? Uh, rapid fatigability, and pessimistic worry in anticipations of problems. So, those with low harm avoidance are carefree, energetic, outgoing, and optimistic. Yung meron naman high harm avoidance behavior natin may resolve to maladaptive inhibitions and excessive anxiety. Next, we have the psychodynamic theories. In the psychodynamic theories, uh, di ba kanina yung temperament natin is a largely inherited. So, nagkakaroon ng social learning, culture, and random life events unique to each person's influence the character. So, dito naman, when we say character, consists of concept about the self and external world. So, it develops over the time as a person comes into the contact with people and situations and confronts the challenges. So, nagkakaroon tayo ng major, character, uh, major characteristic traits have been distinguished here. We have the self-directedness, we have the cooperativeness, and self-transcendence. So, when fully developed, these character traits define a mature personality. Okay, punta muna tayo sa first one sa self-directed. In a self-directed, that is the extent to which a person is responsible, reliable, resourcefulness, goal-oriented, and self-confidence. So, in self-directed people, they are realistic and effective and can adapt their behavior uh, to achieve goals. Yung people with a low in can adapt their behavior, uh, people low, they have the self-directedness, are blaming, helpless, responsible, and unreli unreliable. So, they cannot set and pursue meaningful Goals in cooperativeness, naman mga anak, that is a refers to extend which a person uh, sees him or herself as an integral part of human society. So high cooperative people are described as empathic, tolerant, compassionate, uh, supportive, and principled. So people with how cooperativeness are yung mababa naman yung co uh, low cooperativeness naman. These are the self-absorbed. Intolerant, critical, unhelpful, uh, revengeful, and opportunistic. That is, they look out for themselves without regard for the rights and feelings of others. And last one, we have the self-transcendence that is described the extent naman manak in a person consider him or herself to be an integral part of the universe. In the self-transcendence uh, are spiritual, unpretentious, humbled, and uh, fulfilled. So, these traits are helpful when they are self-transcendent, are practical, self-conscious, materialistic, and controlling. So, they have the difficulty accepting the suffering, loss of control, personal and material losses, and death. So, in the summary of the biologic theories and the psychodynamic, uh, psychodynamic theories, which is the bi biologic theories that is temperament, and then the psychodynamic theories that is character, uh, personality development responds to inherited dispositions, which is the temperaments, and environmental influences, that is the character, which are experiences unique to each person. So, personality disorder... Uh, result when the combination of temperaments and character development produces maladaptive, inflexible ways of viewing self, coping with the world, and relating to others. Although in a personality disorder is a psychiatric diagnosis, it is important chat to remember that it's not an illness with treatable symptoms. 
in the way other mental disorder are. So, the personality traits are integrated ways of being and thinking. So, although uh, some change may occur slowly over the time, there will be no significant improvements or quick resolutions of problematic behavior. Okay, in our cultural uh, considerations, we all know that we have a judgment. Okay, so when we say judgment, judgment of personality must be viewed with considerations of ethnic, cultural, and social uh, backgrounds. So members of the minority groups, immigrants, political refugees and people from uh, people from uh, different ethnic backgrounds may display guarded or defensive behavior as a result of the language barrier or previous negative experiences so this should be not be confused with our emotional coldness or lack of concern for others so people with uh, religious or spiritual beliefs such as clairvoyance, speaking in tongues, or evil spirits as a cause of disease could be misinterpreted as having schizotypal personality disorder. So there is also a difference in how some cultural groups view of avoidance or, or dependent behavior, particularly for the women. So emphasis on deference, positivity, and politeness should not be confused with avoidant personality disorder. So, cultures that value work and productivity may produce citizens with strong emphasis in this area. So, this should not be confused with obsessive compulsive personality disorder. So, certainly, personality disorder, for example, we have the antisocial personality disorder are diagnosed more often in men. So, yung borderline personality disorder uh, also uh, diagnose for women. So, kung yung ating uh, antisocial sa lalaki, yung borderline personality naman sa babae. So, social stereotypes about typical gender roles and behavior can influence diagnostic decisions if clinicians are unaware such as biases. So question, this is the following true or false. When discussing personality disorder, the term treatment resistance refers to a lack of response to medications prescribed. So what's your answer? So the answer is false. Okay, so the rationale, eh? also a personality disorder is a psychiatric diagnosis. It is important to remember that is not an illness with treatable symptoms in the way other mental disorders. So the term treatment resistance, it refers to the fact that it's difficult to change a person's personality. So change occurs slowly and over the time, it is true that there is no magic pill that will result in a change in someone's personality for better. Okay? Okay. Uh, pharmacologic treatments of clients with personality disorder focuses on the client's symptoms rather than the particular subtypes. The four symptoms categories that underline personality disorder are the following. So we have the cognitive perceptual distortions, affective symptoms and mood dysregulations, aggressions and behavioral functions and we have the anxiety the four these four symptoms categories relate uh, to the underlying temperaments associated with our personality disorder for example we have the low reward dependence corresponds to the categories of affected uh, dysregulations the detachments and cognitive disturbances we have also the high novelty seeking corresponds to the target symptoms of impulsiveness and aggressions and also the high harm abundance avoidance correspond to the categories of 
anxiety and depressive symptoms and we have the cognitive perceptual disturbances that is include the magical thinking the odd beliefs illusions suspiciousness the ideas of uh, references and low-grade psychotic symptoms so this chronic symptom usually responds to low dose antipsychotic medication so yon yung ating treatment one which is the psychopharmacology let's proceed to the treatment number two which is the individual and group psychotherapy so the therapy uh, helpful to clients with personality disorders uh, varies according to the types and the severity of the symptoms and particular disorder so in patients uh, in patients hospitalization is usually indicated when safety is concerned for example when a person with a borderline personality disorder has suicidal ideas or engaged in self injury otherwise the hospitalizations is not useful and maybe even results in dependence on the hospital and the uh, staff so individual group uh, therapy goals per client with personality disorder focus on the building the trust teaching basic living skills providing support and decreasing and decreasing the distressing symptoms such as the anxiety and improving inter personal relationship okay so meron din tayo yung ating tinatawag na relaxations or medication techniques dito sa relaxation and medications techniques uh, can help manage anxiety for our clients so improving the basic uh, living skills through the relationship with our case manager or therapist can improve functional skills people with schizotypal personality disorder so meron din tayong uh, assertiveness training groups can assist people to have satisfying relationship with others and to build the self-esteem when that is needed in cognitive behavioral therapy which is the cognitive uh, restructuring techniques so cognitive behavioral therapy has been particularly helpful for, for our clients with a personality disorder Several cognitive reconstructing techniques are used to change uh, the way the clients think about him or herself and others. So, meron tayong tinatawag na thought-stopping and then the positive self-talk. In a uh, thought-stopping, that is the client's stop, the negative thoughts pattern. And yung positive naman na self-talk natin, that is designed to change the negative self messages and they cast uh catastrophizing which teaches uh the client to view the life events more realistically and not as a catastrophe so yon yung ating uh, cognitive behavioral therapy the top is stop thought is stopping and positive self talk meron din tayong tinatawag na dialectical behavioral therapy so was designed for the clients with borderline personality disorders so it focuses on the distorted thinking and behavior based on the assumptions that poorly regulated emotions are uh, emotions are the underlying problems okay let's proceed to the first uh, personality disorder which is the paranoid personality disorder or paranoia so a uh, paranoid personality disorder that is uh, characterized by a person's uh, per by persuasive mistrust and suspiciousness of others uh, clients with uh, disorders interpret others actions as potentially harmful so during the periods of stress they develop transient psychotic symptoms okay in a uh, clients with a paranoid personality disorder the clients appear aloof and withdrawn and may remain a considered a considerable uh, physical distance from the nurse they view this as a uh, necessary for their pre uh, protections okay client also appear guarded or hyper vigilant they may they may survey the room and its content look behind also for furnitures or doors and generally appear alert to any impending danger so they choose to sit near the door to have ready access 
to an exit or with their backs against the wall to prevent anyone or with their backs uh, to prevent from sneaking up behind them. So that is for paranoid dis uh, personality disorder. And also, in paranoid disorder, they use uh, projections. Okay, so yun. And then, conflict with authority figures. Ang palagi lang natin tatandaan, pag sinabi po natin na paranoid personality disorder, ang kanilang symptoms usually that is mistrust and suspicions of others, guarded and restricted affect. So, ang ating nursing intervention lang namang doon is a formal, formal or business-like approach, client involvement in a plan of care, and validated idea before the actions. So, sabi ko nga kanina, the use of projections as the defense mechanism which is blaming for others, institutions, or even for their own difficulties. So, it is common for such clients to blame the government for personal problems. So, yun, yung ating use of defense mechanisms. And also, in conflict with authority figures and the job is common. So, client may even resent being given direction from a supervisor. Paranoia may extend to feelings of being singled out for menial tasks treated as stupid or more closely monitored than their employees. So, in the nursing interventions, forming the effective working relationship with paranoid or suspicious client is difficult. So, because of the client's need to feel in control, it is important to involve them in formulating their care plans and also uh, the nurse must remember that the, these clients uh, take everything seriously and particularly sensitive to the reactions and motivations of others. So, ang approach natin, sabi ko nga kanina, uh, this client in a formal or business-like manners and refrain from social chit-chat or jokes. Being on time, keeping commitments, and being especially straightforward are essential to the success of the nurse-client relationships. And also, uh, the clients more likely engage the therapeutic process if they believe they have something to gain. So, yun. So, yan yung ating uh, mga personality, uh, yan yung first personality disorder natin, the parented personality disorder. Okay? Next one, punta naman tayo sa asing schizoid uh, personality disorder. So, sa schizoid personality disorder naman natin, ang palagi nating tatandaan that is pervasive pattern of social detachments. So, from social relationship and restricted range of emotional expression in interpersonal settings. So, yun. So, clients with uh, schizoid personality disorder displays also uh, constricted affect and little if any emotions they are aloof and indifferent appearing emotionally cold and caring or unfeeling okay so clients generally are accomplished intellectually and often involved in computers or electronics for work or pass their sign okay they have also the little emotions that we have and usually they have the rich and extensive fantasy but are reluctant to uh, other. Okay. So, what are our nursing interventions for our exquisite personality disorder? Uh, nursing intervention focus on the improved functionings in the community. So, if our clients uh, need housing or change in living circumstances, the nurse can make referral to social services or appropriate local agencies. For assistance, so the nurse can help agency personnel find suitable housing for their accommodates the client desire and need for solitude. And also, if the client has identified family member as his or her primary relationship, the nurse must ascertain whether the person can continue in the role. If the person cannot, the client may need to establish at least working relationship with case manager in the community. Okay, so in uh, schizoid personality disorder, sabi ko nga ang tatandaan natin, that is the detached from the social relationship, restricted affect, 
involved with things more than people. So, ang kailangan lang natin doon, the nursing interventions that we need to uh, inculcate in our mind that is improve the client's functioning in the community and assist client in finding the case manager. Okay? So, that is for schizoid personality uh, disorder. Let's proceed to the schizotypal personality disorder. In schizotypal personality, uh, personality disorder that is characterized by pervasive patterns of social and interpersonal uh, deficits. So marked by acute discomfort with and reduced capacity for close relationship as well as by the cognitive or perceptual distortions and behavioral uh, eccentricities. Also, in schizotypal personality disorders, clients often have the odd appearance and that causes others to notice them. So, they may be unkept and this shell and their clothes are often ill-fitting and do not match and may be stained or dirty. Also, we have the cognitive distortions. Includes the ideas of reference, magical thinking, ads, or unfolded beliefs and preoccupations with parapsychology, including the extrasensory perceptions and clairvoyance. Okay, also, in its gizetypal personality disorder, our client experienced the great uh, anxiety around other people, especially those who are unfamiliar. So, this not improve with time or repeated exposures. Rather, the anxiety may be intensified. Okay, so... Excuse me, the file personal to also order, we have the behavioral eccentricities, cognitive perceptual distortions, the ad appearance, and then the restricted range of emotions. So in our nursing interventions, it should be focused on the self-care and the social skills. Uh, social skills and improve the functionings into our community. The nurse encourage clients to establish daily routine. Uh, for the hygiene and the grooming. Okay, so encouragement of the daily routines. Kasi nga, sabi ko kanina, we have the ad appearance. Okay, so it is useful for the clients to have appearance that is not bizarre or disheveled because stare or comments from other can increase this comfort. Also, uh, it may help as the client to prepare the list of people in the community with whom they must have contacts such as the landlord, the store clerk, uh, to have repair or the lease or the pharmacy. So that can be uh, the nurse. Um, the nurse can then role play interactions the clients would have with each people's. Okay. And then also identifying the appropriate outlets for uh, discussions. Okay. So in uh, schizotypal personality disorder, ang palagi nating tatandaan that is acute discomfort in relationship, the cognitive or perceptual distortions, or eccentric behavior. So, ang ating focus on the nursing interventions, it should be develop the self-care skills, improve the community functionings, which is the social skills, training. Okay? Next one, we have the antisocial anti personality disorder and the nursing process applications. So, in uh, antisocial personality disorder that is characterized by disregards for the rights of others, deceit, and uh, manipulations. And also, uh, sabi ko nga, in uh, antisocial personality disorder that is characterized a pervasive pattern of disregard for and violations of rights of others and by the central central characteristic of deceit and manipulations. So, ang assessment lang natin, yung sa history. So, in assessment of our anti-personality disorder, first what we need to need is the history. In the history, kailangan lang natin makita the acts of cruelty and abusive uh, parenting. So, yun yung nakikita natin. Kasi, uh, usually, in uh, uh, families have high rates of depression, substance abuse, and anti-personality disorder, poverty, and uh, divorce. So, kapag ganun, uh, usually, either in adults and supply engage in lying, in lying, 
uh, through 1C sexual promiscuity and cigarette smoking or substance. So, tingnan natin yung history niya kasi usually the onset of the childhood or the adolescence. So, formal diagnosis is not made until the client is 18 years old. So, tingnan lang natin yung uh, history ng ating uh, pasyente. And then, the general appearance and motor behavior of our antisocials. So, usually... Uh, usually, normal yung kikita natin sa anti-social uh, personality disorder depending on the circumstances of the interview. So, they may exhibit signs of mild or moderate anxiety, especially if another person or agency arranged the assessments. Okay. Punta naman tayo sa mood and affect. Pag sa mood and affect niya, display falls of emotions chosen to suit the occasions or to work their advantage. So, yun. So, these clients cannot empathize with the feelings of others, which enables them to exploit others without guilt. So, usually, they feel remorse only if they are caught breaking the law or exploiting others. Pagdating naman sa thought processes and content, uh, the client do not experience distorted thoughts. But their views of the world are narrow and distorted because coercions and personal profit motivate them. They tend to believe that others are similarly governed. So they view uh, the world as a cold and hostile and therefore rationalize their behavior. In the sensorium and intellectual processes naman, in regards of antipersonality disorder, clients are oriented, have no sensory personality, person, perceptual alteration and have average or above average of his or her IQ. And then we have the judgments and insight. In the judgment and insight, the clients generally exercise poor judgments for various reasons. They pay no attention to the, to the legality of the actions and do not consider moral or ethics when making decisions. In the self-concept naman, in the self-concept, superficially, our clients appear confident, self-assured, and accomplished. Perhaps, even flip or arrogant. They feel peerless, disregard their own vulnerability, and usually believe they cannot be caught in lies, deceit, or illegal actions. In the roles and uh, responsibilities, roles and relationships, clients manipulate and exploit those around them. They view relationships as serving their needs and pursue others only for personal gains. In the data analysis and nursing uh, diagnosis, uh, people with antipersonality disorder generally do not seek treatment voluntarily unless they perceive some personal gain from doing so. So the nursing uh, diagnosis commonly used when working with this client is ineffective coping. We have the ineffective role performance and then the risk for other uh, directed violence. Okay, So that is for the nursing diagnosis. In outcome identifications, uh, the client will demonstrate non-destructive ways uh, to express feelings and frustrations and also the clients will identify ways to meet his or her own needs that do not infringe on the rights of others and also the client will achieve or maintain satisfactory role performance and then the interventions that we need to do is the therapeutic relationship the problem solving and then the enhancing of role performance so the nurse must provide structure to their music, uh, relationship, identify acceptable and expected behavior, and be consistent in those expectations. So he or she must minimize attempts by these clients to manipulate and control the relationship. So number one nga dyan, sabi ko nga, in antisocial personality disorder, that is the limit setting. In limit setting, that is effective technique that involves three steps. Number one, we have uh, stating the behavioral limit. So that is describing the unacceptable behavior. The number two is identifying the consequences if the limit is exceeded. 
and then after the Indian is identifying the expected or desired behavior. Okay, consistently with uh, setting in a matter of uh, non judgmental manner is crucial for the success of our uh, clients. Okay. And lastly, we need to evaluate our clients. So, nakakatulong din yon para uh, makita natin kung there is a improvements for our uh, clients. So, need to evaluate uh, the treatments based on the attainment or on the progress toward the outcomes of our client. Okay, basta ang tatandaan natin sa anti-personal disorder kapag mag-assess tayo sa kanila that is a low frustrations, uh, tolerance, impulsive behavior, inability to delay gratifications, there is also a poor uh, judgment, conflict with authority, difficulty following rules and obeying laws, uh, meron din yung lack of feelings or remorse. So, socially unacceptable behavior, dishonesty, manipulative behavior or failure to accept or handle their responsibility. So, yun yung usually na makikita natin in terms of our uh, patients. Okay? So, yung ating uh, evaluation, sabi ko nga kanina, or interventions, the client and the family educations for anti-personality uh, disorder or anti-social personality disorders is the avoidance of the use of alcohol and other drugs, uh, appropriate social skills, effective problem solving skills, uh, managing the emotions such as anger and frustrations, and taking a time out to avoid stressful uh, situations. Okay, so yun yung kailangan natin na makita in suit sa uh, anti-personality disorder. Okay, questions. Which of the following good numbers expect to assess in a client with anti-personality disorder? It should be the overwhelming empathy, high self-esteem, uh, manipulative behavior, or pervasive suspiciousness. The answer is manipulative behavior. A client with anti-personality disorder typically exhibits manipulative behavior, lack of empathy, and low self-esteem. So suspiciousness would be uh, assessed in a client with paranoid uh, personality disorder. Next, we have the borderline personality disorder. So in uh, borderline personality disorder is uh, characterized by pervasive pattern of unstable interpersonal relationship, the self-image, the affect, and the marked impulsivity. So, uh, the clients who engage in self mutilations do not reinforce that they are still alive. They seem to experience our physical pain in the face of emotional numbing. So, in working with the clients with borderline personality disorder, it can be frustrating. They may be clean and ask for help one minute and then become angry, act out, and reject all offers of help in the immediate gratifications of needs and at times sabotage their own treatment plans by purposely failing to do what they have agreed. So they have also the lava modes, unpredictability, and uh, diverse behavior can make it seem as if stuff is always so the kind of back to square once we talk of so in assessment natin ang sa history kailangan natin makita yung disturbed early relationship with the uh, uh, parents that is often begin at the age of 18 to 30 months of age of so commonly early attempts by this client to achieve development independence uh, were met with you need uh, safe responses from parents or treats of withdrawal of parental support and approval. So pagdating naman sa kanilang general appearance and motor behavior, ang ating borderline personality disorder are clients experience a wide range of dysfunctions from severe to mild. Initial behavior and presentation may vary widely depending on the client's present status.
and then the modes and the APEC we have uh, the pervasive mode is this part. so this is involving unhappiness uh, restlessness and malice client often report intense loneliness boredom frustrations feeling empty so yan yung mga uh, uh, mode and affect natin so pwede siyang I'm so unhappy I feel so alone I feel bored I just feel empty yan yung mga sinasabi usually ng ating borderline personality this part so yung thought and process and content nila uh, thinking about uh, uh, oneself and other is often polarized and extreme which is sometimes referred to as pleasing so clients tend to adore and idealize other people even after deep acquaintance but then quickly devaluates or devalue them if these others do not meet their expectations in some way so yun and also, a client may experience the dissociative episode. So that is the period of wakefulness when they are unaware of their actions. So nagkakaroon ng self-harm behavior of and occur during these dissociative episodes, uh, thoughts, or other types. Uh, clients may be fully aware of the duty themselves. As stated earlier, under the extreme stress, clients may develop transient psychotic symptoms such as delusions or hallucinations okay in the sensorial and intellectual process uh tingnan natin yung fully oriented to reality exception is transient psychotic syndrome so the intellectual capacity part in tax and clients are fully oriented to reality so the exception is transient psychotic syndrome so during this episodes reports of auditory uh, hallucinations encouraging or demanding self-harm are most common and then we have the judgments and insight in the judgment and insight clients frequently report behavior consistent with impaired judgments and lack of care and concern for safety such as gambling shoplifting, reckless driving, and they make decisions impulsively on the basis of emotions rather than stuff. In the self-concept naman, that is unstable view of themselves that shift dramatically and suddenly they may appear easy and dependent on moments and angry, hostile, and rejecting the next. So, nagkakaroon ng unstable view of self and self -harm. In the rules and the relationships, in the rules and relationship, clients hate being alone, but they are erratic, labile, and sometimes dangerous behavior of an isolated them. So, relationship uh, being unstable, stormy, and intense, the cycle limit itself continually. And then we have the physiological and self care considerations that is for the self or the reckless behavior. So, in addition to societal and self-harm behavior, clients may engage in being, being so that is excessive overeating and self induced vomiting. So, substance abuse, unprotected sex, or reckless behavior such as driving while intoxicated, they usually have difficulty of sleeping. and uh, nursing diagnosis, usually the nursing diagnosis in uh, borderline personality disorder that is a uh, risk for suicide, a uh, risk for self motivations risk for others uh, directed violations, uh, ineffective coping, and social isolation. So, yan yung usually na pwede nating nursing diagnosis for the uh, uh, borderline personality disorder. For example, it is for self-mutilations, uh, that is a behavior that indicates a potential for the delivery of physical damage to self that is not intended to be uh, paid out. So, punta naman tayo sa outcome by identification natin. Sa outcome identification natin, the treatment and the outcome uh, may include the client will be safe and free from significant injury. The client will not harm others or destroy property. 
the client will demonstrate in his control of impulsive behavior and also the clients will take appropriate steps to meet his or her own needs and then the client will demonstrate also the problem solving skills and the clients uh, will verbalize greater satisfaction with relationships so anong intervention natin sa ating borderline personality disorder syempre we have the safety that is no self harm contact so client's physical safety is always the priority okay so and also uh Clients may enact self-harm urge by cutting, burning, or punching themselves, which sometimes causes permanent physical injury. So, self-injury can occur with the clients in enraged or experiences dissociative episode or psychotic symptoms, or it may occur no readily apparent results. So, yun. So, yun yung sinasabi natin, no self-harm contract. So, which has been common practice in many settings. So, in which the client promises not to engage in self-harm and to report to the nurse when he or she is losing of control. Okay? The therapeutic uh, relationship natin, we must be provide, uh, promote the therapeutic relationship regardless of the clinical setting. The nurse must provide the structure and limit setting in the therapeutic relationship. Okay? So, usually dito, ang pwede natin gawin in terms of seeing a client for scheduled appointments of a predetermined length rather than whenever the clients appear and demand the nurses immediate action. So, it, that's one. So, it should be in the therapeutic uh, relationship. It should be uh, structured uh, with limit settings. Okay, and then we have establishing the boundaries or is the adherence to the boundaries. So, clients have uh, the difficulty maintaining satisfying interpersonal relationships. So, magkakaroon tayo ng personal boundaries are adhered and clients often unrealistic expectations. Okay. So, another one interventions is the communication skills or we have the teaching the effective communication skills that is important to teach basic communication skills such as eye contact, active listening, taking uh, turns talking, validating the meaning of another's communications and using the I statement and also helping our clients in their uh, cope and to control their emotions. So, client often comes to situations with extreme emotional responses without actually recognizing their feelings. Okay? And then, we have also another intervention that is shaping thinking patterns. So, in reshaping uh, thinking patterns, uh, view everything, people, and situation in extreme. So, totally, it can be good or totally bad. So, yung una natin, we have the cognitive reconstructioning is a technique useful for changing the pattern of thinking by helping our clients recognize the negative thoughts and feelings and replacement with positive patterns of thinking. Okay, so meron din tayong pat thought stopping. So yung thought stopping naman natin, that is a technique to alter the process of negative or self-critical thought seeing to the right one. And then we have the positive self-talk. In our positive uh, self-talks, the clients uh, learn to replace recurrent negative thoughts of worklessness with more positive thinking. In a positive thought, the clients uh, it brings negative thoughts into the positive one. And lastly, we have the decastrophizing that is a technique that is involved learning to assess situations realistically rather than always assuming a catastrophe will happen. And then we have the structuring daily activities. So, if we structuring the client's daily activities, that is the feelings of chronic boredom and emptiness. The feeling of abandonment and intolerance of being alone or common problem. So, pwede rin po natin idagdag dyan yung ating uh, teaching social skills like the maintaining personal boundaries, realistic expectations to relationships. And then, 
mixing also with the time structuring. So, at sa time structuring natin, it should be making a written schedule of activities. Making a list of solitary activities to combat the boredom. And also, teaching our patients in self-management through cognitive records or records structuring. So, yun yung sinasabi ko kanina, yung cognitive, the thought, and the positive sub-talks. And then, using the assertiveness techniques such as I statement. Okay? And using the distractions such as walking or listening to a music. So, lastly, we have the evaluations. In evaluations, with a personal disorder, changes may be small and slow. So, the degree of functional impairment of a client's with a borderline personal disorder may vary widely. So, the clients with a severe impairment may be evaluated in terms of their ability to be safe and refrain from self-injury. Okay? Okay, next one. Personality disorder that we have that leads to histrionic personality disorder. So, this is characterized by a pervasive pattern of excessive emotionally and attention seeking. Okay, so ulitin natin that is excessive emotionally and attention seeking, exaggerations of closeness of relationship, and then the insincere and shallow emotions. Okay, the tendency of the clients to exaggerate the closeness of the relationship or to dramatize relatively minor or occurrences can result unreliable data. So, usually the speech is usually a colorful or theoretical, full of superlative adjectives. It becomes apparent, however, that such colorful and entertaining descriptions are vague and lack of details. Overall, the appearance is normal, although the clients may overdress. Okay, so clients are overly concerned with impressing others with their appearance and spread inordinate time, energy, and money to this end. So usually our client also hear emotionally expressive, irregular issues, and effusive. So they often exaggerate emotions inappropriately. So yan yun ating history of personality disorder. So our nursing intervention lang natin siya to adapt that is feedback about the social interactions, the social skills training, through the role playing and explorations of strengths and assets. So include dito yung manner of dress and nonverbal behavior. So yung feedback natin should focus on the appropriate alternative, not merely criticism. So yun yung dapat nating focus. So the clients may be quite sensitive to discussing about the self-esteem and may respond with exaggerated emotions. So it is important to explore personal strength and assets and to give specific feedback about the positive characteristic. So encouraging clients to use assertive communications such as I statement. So may promote self-esteem and help them get their needs with appropriate skill. The nurse must convey genuine confidence in the client's ability. Next one, we have the narcissistic personality disorder. So that is characterized by a pervasive pattern of grandiosity. Okay, grandiosity or the fantasy or behavior. So need for admirations, lack of empathy, arrogant or known attitudes, severe view, fragile, vulnerable self-esteem, and ambitious. So yan yung ating narcissistic personality disorder. So the narcissistic traits are common in adolescents and do not necessarily indicate that our personality disorder will develop in adulthood. So yan yung nakikita natin. So yung thought process naman nila is intact but insight is limited or poor. Okay, so yun. And then the nursing interventions must be self-awareness, skills to avoid anger and frustrations, and the self-matter-up approach or limit setting. So 
with our clients with narcissistic personalities who are there to present one of the greatest challenges to the nurse. So the nurse must use the self-awareness skills to avoid the anger and frustrations that this client's behavior and attitude can encounter. So clients may be rude and arrogant, unwilling to be and harsh and critical to the nurse. So yung gagawin lang natin dyan, the nurse must not internalize such as a criticism or take it personally. So sa goal natin dito is to cooperate of the cooperation of these clients with other treatments. So the nurse it's just about the cover with medical or psychiatric conditions, the medication regimen, and any needs and a self-care skill in a matter of fact manner. He or she set limits on rude or verbally abusive behavior and explain his or her expectations of the clients. Next one, we have the avoidant personality disorders. In avoidant personality disorder that is uh, characterized by pervasive pattern of social discomfort. Okay, a low self esteem, hypersensitive to so negative evaluations. Yan yung ating avoidance. So, usually, client avoidant personality disorder have the low self esteem. They are hypersensitive to negative evaluation from others and really, really believe themselves to be inferior. So, yung client natin, uh, is are reluctant to do anything per perceived as risky which for them is almost anything so they are fearful and convinced they will make a mistake they humiliate sense, uh, or embarrass themselves and others so ang pal lang natin dito ang nursing uh, intervention lang natin the self affirmations the positive self talk the framing the catastrophizing social skills to be so yun yung pwede natin uh, nursing interventions natin sa ating avoidant personality disorder we have the dependent personality disorder in the dependent personality disorder is characterized by pervasive and excessive need to taking care of which leads to the submissive and clean behavior and fears of separation so ulitin natin that is need to be taking care of submissive and clean behavior and frequently anxious Okay, so the nurse may also need to teach the problem solving and the decision making. So that dito kasi ang um, intervention natin that is expressions of feelings of grief and loss, assistance in daily functionings and teaching problem solving. So the nurse must help our clients to express feelings of grief and loss over the end of relationship while fostering autonomy and self reliance. Next one, we have the obsessive compulsive personality disorders. So, in obsessive compulsive uh, personality disorder that is characterized by pervasive pattern of uh, preoccupations with perfectionism, mental and interpersonal control and orderliness, and the expense of flexibility, openness, and efficiency. So, yan yung ati. Uh, obsessive compulsive personality disorder so perfectionist ang mga to ang nursing inter intervention lang natin dito that is different perspective on decision making cognitive restructuring and risk taking for our obsessive compulsive uh, personality disorder Questions. Is the following statement true or false? A client with narcissistic personality disorder typically likes to be center of attention. The answer is false. So being the center of attention is finding typically associated with our clients with a histrionic personality disorder. Okay? Okay, put naman tayo sa elder considerations. So, personality disorder are not first diagnosed in elder people but may persist from young adulthood into the older age. Some individuals with personality disorder tend to be stabilized and experience fewer difficulties in a later life. Otherwise, 
described as aging bad aging bad that is they are unable or unwilling to acknowledge limitations that come with aging refuse to accept help when needed and do not make reasonable decision about their health care finances or living uh, situations and these individuals seems chronically angry unhappy or dissatisfied resulting in the strained relationship and even allegations from the family friends caregivers and healthcare provider resulting in the social isolation so the paranoids or the paranoia is uh, avoidant defense and obsessive compulsive disorder all the others with personality disorder are at higher risk for depression suicides and dementia our mental health promotions so the treatment of individuals with personality disorder uh, focuses on the mood stabilizations, decreasing also their impulsivity, and developing the social and relationship skills. Okay. In addition, unmet needs like the self care, sexual expressions, budgeting, and psychotic symptoms, and psychological distress. Typically, psychotic symptoms and psychological distress are often the only areas addressed by healthcare providers. Perhaps dealing with those other areas in the treatment of clients might result in a greater sense of well being and improve health. So, children with a greater number of protective factors that is the less likely to develop antisocial behavior as adults. When you have the children with greater number of protective factors, less likely to develop antisocial behavior as adults. So, these protective factors include the school commitment or importance of school, the positive peer relationship, the parent or peer disapproval of antisocial behavior, the functional family relationship, and effective parenting uh, skills. So, interestingly, the study focused the children at the risk for abuse and those uh, not at risk were less likely to have antisocial behavior as adults if these protective factors were present in their environment. So children lacking these protective factors are more are much more likely to develop antisocial behavior as they have adults. awareness issues so because clients with a personality disorder it takes a long time to change their behavior attitudes or coping skills nurses working with them can easily become frustrated or angry so these clients continue to test the limits of the nurse client relationship with the attempts at manipulation so the nurses must discuss the feelings of anger or frustrations with the colleagues to help them recognize and cope with their own feelings so the overall appearance of clients with a personality disorder can be misleading so unlike uh, clients who are psychotic or severely depressed clients with personality disorder look as though they are capable of functioning or uh, effectively so the nurse can easily but mistakenly believe the client simply lacks of motivations or the willingness to make changes and we feel frustrated or angry it is easy for the nurse to think okay and then uh, the client with personality disorder also challenges the ability of the therapeutic stops work as a team so for example the client with antisocials or borderline personality often manipulates staff member by splitting them so that is causing staff member uh, to disagree with or contradict the other terms of limits of the treatment plan so this can be quite disruptive so in addition the team members may have differing opinions about individual clients one staff member may believe that the clients need assisting while another may believe that the client is overly dependent ongoing communication is necessary to remain fair and consistent about the expectations for our clients so yeah so sabi ko na discuss building 
Philippines of Air Investigations with our colleagues. Whereas can be easily mistaken belief sometimes simply lacks of motivations. Be mindful of the manipulation of the staff members. Don't say plots and remark the pieces of personality and set the realistic goals. So our points of consider when working with clients with personality disorder requirements, taking to colleagues about the feelings of frustrations will help you deal with emotional responses so you can be more effective to our clients. So number two, clear frequent communications with other healthcare providers can help diminish the client's manipulations and do not unduly blatantly or harsh or criticism personally because as a result the client personality is harder and sabi nga natin set a realistic goals and remember that behavior changes in the clients with personality disorder that take long time so progress can be is slow okay so that is for our personality 